Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again. And today I'd like to talk a little bit about how you would prove or verify uh, to someone that you actually sent them Bitcoin. So let's get a little bit into that. Okay, so I had one of my users, Yeremiah Makaya, give me a question about, uh, you know, hey, I sent someone some Bitcoin and I, I'm looking for, uh, he mentioned it as the receipt hash uh, recorded in Electrum so that he could give it to the person to prove, I guess, or indicate that he had sent the Bitcoin. And I thought this was a very interesting question. So, uh, but first let me say that Bitcoin is a little... It's not like normal types of transactions. And in a way, it's almost as if you're saying, how can I prove that I gave someone money uh, if I just handed them some cash? Uh, of course, in that situation, you know, it's a face-to-face -face transaction and that's a little more, uh, you know, something we all can wrap our heads around. And I, I guess in the case, uh, if they didn't give you a receipt, uh, for handing them the cash, then uh, you might have wanted to had a friend with you or something so that you have uh, you know someone that could testify in your behalf that you did indeed hand them this cash. But of course, Bitcoin is different because it's over the internet and you're not face to face. So let's take a look at a few ways that we could uh, perhaps prove to this other person that we did in fact send them Bitcoin. Okay, so I'm going to go to my screen here. Here's uh, Jeremiah's uh, question. Uh, I sent someone some Bitcoin using Electrum version 3. Where is the receipt hash recorded in Electrum so that I can give it to the person who sent the money? Thank you. Okay, uh, when I first got the question, I, was, I said to myself, gee, I didn't even know that they had such a thing. And I don't know that they have such a thing named. I looked through the documentation of Electrum and I didn't see anything uh, specifically named receipt hash. But there is a thing called the transaction ID. Uh, so let's take a look at that. So I'm going to launch my Electrum Bitcoin wallet here. Uh, I don't know what that's all about. Please go away. All right, so I'm going to open this up. Okay, actually, this is an empty wallet. So uh, I'm going to open up a wallet that actually sent something. Okay. And so we see here that I sent uh, some Bitcoin out. And uh, if I'm right on top of the uh, date here, I can double click, double click and get some more information about this transaction. Okay, and here we see a transaction ID. And then uh, also down here, you can see the address that I sent the Bitcoin to. This particular transaction uh, was a two-factor authentication. And this address here is uh, the Bitcoin that went out to Trusted Coin uh, for verifying the transaction. So that's why this particular transaction is split up this way. Um, so we could uh, use this transaction ID. We could send this transaction ID to your friend and say, hey, uh, here's the transaction ID and then let's go over here to blockchain.info and up here in the search bar I can paste in that transaction ID hit enter and lo and behold here is the transaction and you can see here uh, that the total input was uh, 0 0.0035 uh, BTC which uh, in the wallet is uh, represented as uh, micro Bitcoin. See down here, uh, our unit of measure here is micro Bitcoin, so it says 3.5. But in reality, uh, in Bitcoin, that's a 0 0.0035. And it even shows that, uh, it doesn't even show that uh, 
that fee that got charged. It, it shows here uh, the 2.6 micro bitcoins that got sent. And so, okay, uh, I could show this to my friend and say, so here's the transaction ID for the Bitcoin that I sent you. But clear to the point, if your friend gave you a receiving address uh, in order to get the Bitcoin, if your friend said, hey, send me, if you told your friend, I want to send you Bitcoin, they would provide you with uh, their receiving address. And that uh, would be another way to verify that some Bitcoin got sent. Uh, so basically your friend, all your friend has to do is take that uh, receiving address that, that he provided you or she, he or she provided you in the beginning and run that same uh, receiving address through blockchain.info. So let's take a look at that. Okay, uh, where are we here? Okay, let's open another wallet and I'm going to open the wallet that the Bitcoin got sent to. I sent this Bitcoin to one of my own wallets. So here we can see the other end of the transaction. We can see the amount that got received here, the 0 0.68378 uh, micro Bitcoins. Let's double click that one. Okay, and here we see uh, this is the, uh, gosh, it won't, er, er, er. okay. That is the uh, receiving address at the time. You'll notice too that when I hit receive, uh, that is a different receiving address. My assumption is, is that uh, Electrum is generating new receiving addresses uh, for each transaction. All right, so we copied that receiving transaction from our history, like that, down there. And let's go over here to, uh, let's take this back to their, home page and do another paste and enter and now we see the same transaction from a different perspective we see the receiving address and we see that on this uh, receiving address we receive this Bitcoin uh, has the date and then here's the uh, transaction ID that we had before so all of that can be revealed by the receiving address so uh, if your friend says, hey, I want proof you sent me the Bitcoin, you could just say, well, you got it, didn't you? Why don't you just use your receiving address and then, uh, or we can sit down together and look at the receiving address on blockchain.info and say, hey, look, there it is in black and white. You know, I sent this Bitcoin to this receiving address. If you didn't get it, then maybe you gave me the wrong receiving address or, or whatever the case may be. Uh, or we can just look in your wallet and see that you receive this Bitcoin. So it's a little, I don't know, it's a little strange for someone uh, to uh, want proof that you sent them Bitcoins uh, if they gave you the proper receiving address, I guess. Uh, Bitcoin is a little different than our everyday transactions uh, you know, in normal uh, types of day-to-day uh, -day stuff. That, that Bitcoin is a little different. It, it's, it's kind of an all-or-nothing deal. And uh, you either get it or you don't. So, uh, I mean, if you didn't get it, uh, getting proof that I sent it isn't going to help you much because if you gave me the wrong receiving address, uh, then your bitcoins, the bitcoins I intended to send you went somewhere else. And that's not my fault, that's your fault for giving me the improper uh, sending address. So I guess it's more of a buyer beware kind of thing when you're dealing with bitcoins uh, because yeah, if you send someone bitcoin or try to send someone bitcoin to the wrong address, uh, then uh, it's gonna go somewhere but not to you. Uh, I guess that's the point I'm trying to make. So we want to be rigorous when uh, we're dealing with Bitcoins. And so I guess that's my answer to the question is uh, how do you uh, show someone that you sent them the Bitcoin? You could, uh, you know, take them to this website and point out to them that there's the transaction ID. Uh, you know, if you don't want to show me your Bitcoin wallet and uh, so that I can see that the Bitcoins got to you and you want to dispute it, uh, 
I guess, if someone's disputing the fact, you can show them here in black and white that uh, you did in fact send this transaction on this date uh, based on not only the transaction ID but the receiving address that they gave you. So uh, I hope that answers the question. I hope that it showed a little bit more about how Bitcoin works on the blockchain. And I guess I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope it was helpful and not confusing. And uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If uh, you'd like to be alerted when I post new videos, please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to ask questions uh, and throw up comments, I love that because it gives me inspiration for new videos. Once again, thanks for the question, and I hope my answer was as complete as possible. Thanks again.